What's going on, YouTube? This is your friendly neighborhood DraftKings addict bringing my top picks for Wednesday's main NBA DFS slate. All right, guys, so before we get started, do me a quick favor. Just tap the like button. It only takes a quick sec, but it really helps out the channel as far as spreading the uh, DraftKings addict love throughout the YouTube universe. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe before you go so that way you don't miss the daily NBA picks videos. All right, so let's go ahead and get into yesterday's results. So yesterday, we had some, uh, some nice picks as far as, as far as our core goes. LeBron James, Lamb, LaMarcus Aldridge um, all did really, really well. All righty. Um, uh, the guy from um, from Oklahoma City didn't do too well. All right, but we're going we're gonna to go ahead and move on from that. But this is what I went with in my cast line up when some of the news came out. All right, of course, you had to pivot to Jabari Parker. All right, when we got uh, news about the uh, uh, guy being out there. All right, for the whole issue with the drug use thing or whatever, right? The performance enhancing drugs. All right, so uh, then I went with Brogdon too because I'm like, okay, this guy has been ultra consistent. Going up against Charlotte, you know, got to get him in the lineup. And we had some decent value plays that I went with. Like this young man here was uh, thrust into the spot spotlight um, because we had that issue where uh, Sabonis was out. All right, so of course he did well, put up 32 DraftKings points. I believe he was 4K, if I remember correctly. But as you can see, he was 44% owned, so... Uh, decent decent number 275 all right so uh, let's go ahead and get into today's picks though guys so draft dashboard is my research tool of choice all righty there's a 30-day trial for one dollar available for you right now if you uh, check out the link in the description of this video um, you can check out draft dashboard software again has a lot of things in here all right a lineup optimizer where you can build multiple lineups we have a player trends tool where you can kind of see when their um players that uh the major price differences between them on DraftKings and FanDuel, that'll kind of help you spot some values on one of the other uh, uh, trading softwares, whatever. So um, that's one option that we got sleepers and studs. And, uh, we co of course, we got the NBA cheat sheet where it gives you the top plays for uh, the slate. All right. So if you don't have time to do the research, just go to the NBA cheat sheet, watch a couple of players, go to the lineup optimize and build your lineup and be good to go. But my favorite tool by far is going to be this uh, position optimizer. All right. If you look over to the left, you have the dash rank. So all the guys with the green dash rank are going to be in the best spots on this slate. Anybody in the yellow or in the okay spots and anybody in the red or in tough spots. All righty. So pretty simple. All right. So let's go ahead and get into a point guard. Right now, my favorite point guard is going to be my man, Mr. Triple Double, Russell Westbrook. Coming back off a day of rest. And look who they get to play. The Golden State Warriors. And look at the over and under. 232. Now. Would you have believed that the Golden State Warriors was going to put up 130 points on any team without Steph Curry, all right, without KD, without Draymond, and without the Splash Brother number two, Thompson, Thomas, Clay, right? Never would have thought that, right? But they put up 120-something points. So I like this game for Russell, Russell Westbrook at 9.4K. The guy is going to, I think he's going to get another triple-double personally. All right, so at 9.4K for me, he's pretty much a lock. All right, Harden is up to 11-2. Could you go there? Yeah. Am I? No. I'm going to say that $2,000 and uh, move on and get Russell Westbrook and uh, pay up in some other areas. But I like Russell Westbrook on this slate for my point guard spot. Trey Young came back from that angle injury and lit it up with 58 DraftKings points. All right, his price is up to 9100 Gets a matchup versus Chicago. All right, who played the Lakers tough last night. So they are, both of these teams are on a back-to-back. -back, so that's something to be considered as well. But, of course, Trey Young, man, this guy, his usage is, is through the roof, especially um, with Collins out now, right? So um, long story short, he could be in play. All right, but uh, at my shooting guard, I'm going with this young man. Again, he's been ultra consistent, and he gets another favorable matchup for point guards against Washington. Malcolm Brogdon. All right, this guy has been a beast this year, man. Look at him, averaging 48 DraftKings points. This is average. All right. Now he gets a favorable matchup versus Washington. All right. 8.1K. Again, this guy has a safe floor. He's on the floor. He's a big part of the offense with a 28% usage on average. So I like those numbers. All righty. And we got some bonus that's still questionable on that team. All right. So uh, I like Brogdon in this spot at 8.1K. Again, Washington is one of the best spots on the slate when it comes to the point guard spot. All right. So Malcolm Brogdon has that. So go ahead and. I'm play with. I'm playing him. 8K, too easy. All right, small forward. Kawhi Leonard is out for rest of the day. 
All right, so that means that the L.A. Clippers guys are going to get some bumps there because Kawhi has a lot of usage and does a lot for that team. And so now that's going to be spread out. All right, and so with that being said, for my small forward, I'm going to be paying down to this guy here that's going to get some extra run now uh, with Kawhi being out for rest. And I'm going to go ahead and take a spot on him um, just because of that value. Uh, let me see if I can find him. He's way down here. Here you go. Maurice Harkless, all right? So he's projected to be in the starting lineup. Should get some added uh, minutes, and he's only 3.2K. Doesn't have to do much to pay off that uh, that that salary. You know, he can get you a little 8 and 5, 8 points and, some, and a couple of rebounds and pay off that 3.2K. So he doesn't have to do much. So Maurice Harkless, to me, he's a free square, all right, with Kawhi Leonard being out today. All right, yeah, you're going to have guys like Lou Williams and, uh, yeah, and the other guys that's going to be going up and getting an extra uh, run, right? But I like that guy that has a value play at 3.2K. Again, very Low price injury and with possible upside there. Should be able to pay off that salary. No problem. All right. Power forward. You got Jabari Parker too. Starter. 6.7K now though. So not as great of a play. But, uh, you know, he gets a matchup versus ATL. I mean versus Chicago. So uh, who he used to play for. So a little revenge narrative to that, right? But I'm not paying up for him for 6.7K. All right. Julius Randle though. That's my, my power forward for today's slate. He's my favorite power forward at the moment at 6.8K going up against Detroit, who is going to be without uh, Derrick Rose again. All right. So that's something to be uh, mindful of, right? Um, yeah. So um, at 6.8K, I like Julius Randle's um, um, chances. He's averaging 33 minutes a game going up against Detroit. Going to be a nice game. He should be getting a nice double-double from Julius Randle, man. And at 6.8K, that's a nice spot. And he could have some upside again uh, playing up against Detroit. So I like Julius Randle right now, my power forward. Uh, Montrez Harrell is an honorable mention, a little bit cheaper at 6.2K. So you save 600 bucks. All right. But, uh, you know, with uh, Kawhi being out, again, that usage is going to be spread around. Um, you got a couple other options at power forward, man. Like if you want to come down and get some value here at Wagner at 3.9K. All right. Playing for Washington. All right. Back up, back up center slash power forward. There you go. If we get news that Sabonis is out again, we can go back. To the guy, <clears throat> that's the guy that's replacing him. Um, I believe he's center eligible, not power forward. So you'll see him over on the center spot. Um, but you remember we talked about him right here. This guy right here, Dit 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 a days. I don't even hell you say his name. But if we get news that Sabonis is out, he could be another another good value play. Uh, once again, so um, that's my power forward, Julius Randle, at uh, my center spot. Center, I'm going to give you, man. Come on now. We got Carl Anthony Towns and Joe Embiid are back now on the same slate at that little tussle that them two had. So uh, I'm paying for Carl Anthony Towns. Right now, we have uh, Jeff Teague, the starting point guard, who is currently questionable with an illness. Then the backup point guard, Shabazz Napier, is doubtful with the hamstring issue. So that's something to be mindful of. But I'm looking at it that. Carl Anthony Towns is going to have some extra usage and going to do some extra things versus this Memphis uh, Grizzlies team. And at 10K, this guy has 70-point upside. I like his chances of getting 60-plus <clears throat> points on today's slate. At 10K, that's a great value in my opinion. Again, as you can see, he's in a smash spot right now. And again, last time he played this team, he put up 71 DraftKings points and 55 the game before that. All righty. So, Carl Anthony Towns, he's my guy. You could play Joel Embiid, save you 500 bucks. He has done well versus um, Rudy Gobert and those Utah Jazz, all right? But it's a slower-paced game. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so a 9.5K Joel Embiid wouldn't be a bad play, but I like Carl Anthony Towns just because of the usage, right? You know, you got a whole lot more players around Joel Embiid. Carl Anthony Towns is pretty much just him and Wiggins now, all right? So, yeah, there you go. So, um, again, Joel Embiid is definitely somebody I would look at. Montrez Harrell got a couple of other options at uh and I sent a spot that we could go with Gobert's not a bad play you know maybe for GBPs because I know a lot of people are going to be looking at the guys higher up and Joel and B not Joel and B Rudy Gobert is going to be overlooked at 7.6k has he done well this year not really 27 41 and 31 but that's the definition of a GBP play you know people are not going to be looking at him maybe he goes off against Joel and B and puts up 47 DraftKings points all right cool so there you go, guys. Those are my favorite plays today on this slate. All righty. So let's go ahead and look at those over on DraftKings. So here you go. At my point guard, we're going to go with Russell Westbrook. Come off a day of rest. Again, he only paid 26 minutes in that blowout game versus Miami. 
where they got their tails kicked in. All right, but we got 36 minutes versus Brooklyn, 35 and 35 against OKC, and we got 50 plus DraftKings points on all three of those games. I'm expecting the same or more tonight for Mr. Westbrook after the day of rest going up against Golden State at home. Time to show out Brody. Let's get it. All right, Brogdon, again, Mr. Consistent, playing 30-plus minutes, putting up around 40-plus to 50 DraftKings points a game and an 8.1K. He gets a smash spot versus Washington for point guards. I love it. I'm going to play him because, again, seems like a very safe play in this spot, and he's at home. Maurice Harkless, strictly a play off of value at 3.2K. Should be getting the start with Kawhi Leonard being out for a day of rest. All righty. I like him to get 25 plus minutes and blow out that 3.2K salary, man, and put up at least 25 um, DraftKings points. So we'll see how, what we get from Maurice Harkless today. I mean, Mo Harkless today at home going up against Milwaukee. Tough spot, but I like his chances with that cheap salary at 3.2K. Julius Randle with the handles <laughs> at 6.8K. Going up against Detroit and Drummond. All right, I like that spot for him. This guy here, again, is playing 30-plus minutes except for that game in Sacramento where they got the tails kick. All right, 34 minutes on average, somewhere around there. All right, and the guy's putting up an average of 35 DraftKings points. I like his chances of getting high up on that scale. So, Julius Randle's one of my favorite power forwards on the slate. <clears throat> and then, of course, Carl Anthony Towns back from that suspension. Let's go. All right, going up against the Memphis Grizzlies. Who do they have that can stop Carl Anthony Towns? All right, this guy, look at him, 23, 11 rebounds, four assists, a block, and a steal in his in that game versus Miami. Versus Brooklyn, he put up 36, three steals, three blocks, and 14 rebounds. So I like this guy to get me a high high 30 points, you know, 15, 12 rebounds, uh, a couple of assists now with, again, like I said, we got a couple of guards on that, their uh, team that are questionable. So we'll keep it on that news, but I like quality in towns whether Teague plays or not. If Teague doesn't play, I love him even more. So there you go. That leaves you with 4.16K for your last three spots. You know, you could pay down from Brogdon and get a cheaper shooting guard. All right. Or you can pay down for a cheaper center um, as, far, as far as counting towns and pay up into some other spots. But right now, these are my top favorite plays. Going to have a good amount of these guys. And uh, yeah, there we go. You know, so. All right. So Twitter. At DK underscore Attic. Don't forget to drop a like before you go, guys. Please, it really helps out the channel. And as always, thank you guys for stopping by. I'll see you guys on the next slate. Peace.